Today I want to talk about these little DRV8833 modules. They are tiny dual H-bridge motor drivers that you can buy for very inexpensive and they are perfect for running things like these kinds of little motors. They support 3 volts all the way up to 10 volts and they support 1.5 amps per H-bridge. That means a dual can be up to 3 amps. You can also drive stepper motors on these things and they have all sorts of neat features like overcurrent protection built in and sleep modes if you really want to use them. I have a written article down in the description but I'll try to run you through it as good as I can in this video. Taking a look at the underside of this module, you'll notice that on one side we have the outputs and on the other side we have the inputs which makes it really good for laying out your PCBs. Output 1 and 2 are linked to one H-Bridge driver and 3 and 4 are linked to another. So if you have a small DC motor such as this one, you would just connect you know, both leads to output 3 and 4 or 1 and 2. For the inputs, same deal. You want two inputs in 1 and in 2 to control out 1 and out 2 and then in 3 and in 4 to control out 3 and out 4. Another thing to note is if you want speed control, all you have to do is PWM or pulse one of the inputs, not both. You'll have to connect your VCC and your ground, but make sure that you don't supply the VCC from your microcontroller. Whatever voltage and ground is on here will supply your motors. That's an easy way to overwhelm your microcontroller's voltage regulator. Okay, so got a little bit of a test set up here. Uh, and so this is input one, two, three, and four. As you can see right now, these are floating, but essentially they're pulled low. So it's kind of like the inputs, you know, your Arduino would be giving them low if they're floating. That seems to be my experience. But uh, so one, two, three, four, uh, three and four is on this side and one and two is on this side. And that's just because that's the way it's connected here. So uh, the inputs, the, this goes uh, one, two, power, ground, three, four. On the other side, it goes uh, from the other side, one, two, three, four. So yeah, you'll see these two will, will control this one. Now in order to get it, this one to go, you'll send a high, and there it goes in one direction. This is uh, clockwise. And then if you send a high on uh, three, then it goes counterclockwise. Now it's going full speed because this is a full time high. But if you could just pulse that really quick, you know, PWM, it would control the speed. Uh, same thing on the other side. This is uh, input two, go high, it's going clockwise. And then input one, high, it's going counterclockwise. And again, you would pulse this and you'd get a slower speed. Now I'm just doing this by hand, but your Arduino will do this way quicker. So that's how that would work. If you were unhappy with the correlation between which one is high and which direction it's turning, motors are uh, non-polarized in a sense. You just switch the, the wires around either at the out or at the motor itself and then it would work in the opposite direction. So that's what I would do. But I mean, personally, I would just change it in software. It seems simple enough. Now for a practical example. So my input box was just for a demo. What you really want to know is how to use this with Arduino. Well, if you look in the description, you'll see a painfully commented and coded sketch so that you can get started with this DRV8833 as soon as possible. To make it as simple as possible, I made a function for each individual thing, demonstrating clockwise, counterclockwise for motor A and B, uh, and also for demonstrating how you would PWM motors A and B. And I combined this all into a sketch that you can download for free, take a look at, and modify to your heart's content. So when I plug this in, what's going to happen is this motor is going to go counterclockwise at full speed, and then stop, and then clockwise at full speed, and then stop. Then this one going to go counterclockwise at full speed and stop, and this one's going to go clockwise at full speed and stop. And then this one is going to go counterclockwise at half speed and stop. Same thing clockwise, then same thing for this one. So essentially you're going to see 
all the things that are possible and you'll be able to modify that code to your heart's content. Wiring diagram is right to the side. So let's plug this in and see if it works. There we go. Clockwise, this full speed. Also full speed. And then half speed. So this is using the analog write in order to PWM one of the two inputs. While this is going, I just want to give you a quick note as well that uh, you're going to want to use PWM outputs from your microcontroller. This Arduino Uno only has a few of them, and so that's what is being used right now. Pins 11, 10, 9, and 6 are your inputs. And so that's it. That should be all the information you need to get started with your DRV8833 project. Let me know what you end up building or wanting this for in the comments below. If you have any other type tutorial videos, put those in the comments below as well. And if you want to support the channel, consider Patreon or using the affiliate links in the description to buy your own equipment. Thanks for watching.